my channel. Happy May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. So today we are going to do a, um, a little spin on my channel. Still Disney related, but we're going to be doing um, Disney drinking. So today we're going to make the Jedi mind trick from Oga's Cantina in Star Wars uh, Galaxy's Edge in Hollywood Studios. So today, using my birthday money to purchase all of these liquors are the sponsors of my video, my mom and dad. <laughs> So, for those of you who have not been to Ogus Cantina in Galaxy's Edge, it's themed after the Jedi bar that's in the Star Wars movies. It is another Star Wars themed bar in Galaxy's Edge. Black Sparrow Outpost. So when We're I was coming. saying it's themed after all those bars that I was listing off, yes! Okay you guys, so Ogus Cantina is a bar from Star Wars that's themed off of a bar from Star Wars where Star Wars takes place. So to get in the spirit, I'm wearing the one and only piece of Star Wars merchandise that I have which I bought in January in our trip, which was the vlog that I just released prior to this one. Um, it's pretty cool. I don't know, I kinda like it. Empire Strikes Back. I'm more traditionalist. I kinda like the old school taverns. Yeah, um, we're it's more into that. some more rural. Oh, can, can you get a Jedi mind trick at the Snuggly Beckley? I don't think so. I don't think you could because the Jedis were a long, long time ago. It's probably an expired recipe or something. Yeah. Like, too vintage. Yeah. And mom is here wearing her uh, classic mom look. Okay, so the Jedi Mind Trick is a signature drink at Ogus Cantina, and luckily our sink is draining as I'm saying this. Okay, cool, so the sink's done draining. So Disney Fi actually released their copycat recipe for the Jedi Mind Trick. Um, I will link that in the description below. It's super great, they give a super comprehensive overview of the bar, the cantina, all the different drinks that they offer in there, as well as some other recipes that are copycats from Ogus Cantina and other places around Disney. So let's start by going over the sink that is still draining. Okay, so to start, we're gonna go over everything that's in the drink itself. So this is blue curacao. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's blue colored orange liquor, and this was really, really cheap. It was $7 at our local liquor store. Um, again, I'll write everything that's in the ingredients down below. But this one was super cheap, blue curacao. Um, it's a bar essential from what I've watched on TikTok. Uh, next, we have John D. Taylor's Velvet Falnerum, which from what I've looked up is more like a Caribbean rum. Um, it's super weird. There's not many recipes that I've found that have that in there. Um, it's got an interesting smell, so we'll see how it tastes. Next is Kettle One Botanical Grapefruit Rose and Vodka. This one was about $26, I think, so a little bit more on the expensive side. Again, from our local liquor store. But this one, as you can tell, I have already broken into. Very nice, very nice. Um, I'm not a huge vodka fan, but this one was really good. Oh, and the next. This drink is supposed to be made with white grapefruit juice. Wait, no, with white grape juice. But we don't have that and I forgot to buy it. So today we're making it with cranberry juice, which I do understand is gonna be a completely different taste. But you know what, we're quarantined. I only go leave the house like once a month and this was it. So I, we don't have any white grape juice. Yeah, this is not the juice that we're looking for, but it's the juice that we have. <laughs> okay, so okay, so basically how you make this drink, super easy, okay? Someone as new to drinking as me could make this. <laughs> so you, make, you just pour everything into the shaker and you shake it. And today we're using this lovely shaker that has the top inside of it. All right, so what you're gonna do, first you're gonna fill this with ice. Mom, that's way too much. All right, that's... Now this is filled literally to the top with ice. Um, so the first thing we're gonna add is one ounce of rose and grapefruit vodka. So this, the kettle one, again, $26-ish a bottle. Um, super great, so we're gonna go in. That's one and a half. We're gonna go in with, I'm serious. Yeah, one and, that's okay. Yeah. So what's this one and a half? Half an ounce? No, no. Yeah. I go with the one and a half and fill it up just a little bit less. Yep, just don't fill it all the way up. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. Right? Okay, and then it's gonna be one half ounce of the velvet falnerum, which I keep wanting to say falfernum. Fal no, no left. Oh, it's it's falernum. I'm putting the extra N in there, that's not correct. Okay, so then you do a half a half ounce of falernum. Ew, it's kind of syrupy. Okay, wait. It kind of smells like paint thinner. Uh, it really? Could be. That's the trick, which I like trick. Are we at Oga's Cantina or Sherwin-Williams? Who knows? Oh. And then 
you're gonna do a half ounce of blue curacao. Honestly, I don't get how this is so cheap because it has um, a very similar ABV as the rest of these and it's really sweet. So this will definitely be staple in my new bar um, now that I am finally have a bar. Okay, everyone sniff, sniff test, sniff, sniff. Orange, right? Sniff, sniff. Yes. Yeah. Mmm, smells like lip gloss. Oddly it does. Do you remember like those limited two lip glosses? I know, right. <laughs> okay, so here's where we come in with, with, the, with the trick, the twist, okay? With the cranberry juice instead of the grape juice. And I get it, I get it. Don't come at me in the comments, all of my 10 followers. Not too sure. Um, <laughs> but you know what, it's gonna work. We're gonna make it work. Okay, so. Much. We're gonna do two ounces of this, so we're just gonna do <laughs> one of the one and a half ounces <laughs> one of the one and a half ounces, and then one of the half ounces, and guess what that equals to? Yay! Oh my god, it's so heavy. I'm gonna set this down. Yay, family! There's the one. Flip it for the two. Boom. Okay. And then, let me check our good old recipe, because this is very complicated. We mix it! Right? <clears throat> See this form? Serve on ice in a martini glass. Okay. Or a whiskey glass. Ooh. We're doing martini glass. Is this serve on ice? Can we get, can we get like one ice? Two ices. We're going all out for you tonight, honey. All right. Oh my God. Get our martini glass. Give it a good old pour. Oh. Okay, so at Oga's Cantina and online, this is um, like a light blue, as you would assume from using white grape juice. Uh, um, but ours is, I kind of like this color it's better. Pretty. I like it. I'm really kind of digging this like midnight blue. Okay, taste test, ready? Is it the drink you were looking for? Okay, that's really good. I think you might have turned this into- No, it's really good. A Jedi Cosmo. Yeah, no, it's good. It's a little bit sweeter than, than the drinks that you guys hey, drink. Don't do this at home, COVID-19. Make sure you're only doing this with your group. Oh, you like Actually, gross. Oh, I like it. Right? Yes. Okay, I'm kind Very of surprised. Good. I'm up on this one. All right, fans. We're making everyone one. The Joy's one. What are Joy's? Okay, here's everyone's first sip of, second sip of their own Jedi Mind Trick. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Okay, guys, but after this, we really have to get the droids. Like, we really do. All right. The droids? These are not the droids you're looking for. No, I actually... Who are you the most for droids? Ah. I actually don't know where I am, so... What, what is a droid? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so overall impressions of this drink. Uh, let's rate it on easiness to make, uh, accessibility of ingredients, and um, trueness to the Star Wars story, and then overall taste. So ingredients? Uh, ease of getting the ingredients, or just the ingredients themselves? No, 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 ease of getting the ingredients. I think well, you did tough. a good job. It was tough. I've never heard of this father and roll I had to make a whole special trip to get these, though. Yeah, oh, the yeah. Stuff. So like, would they be stuff that you can find like, in your Well, Well, this, this would be hard. Yeah, probably not. This would be hard. Ease to make, how easy was it to make? Easy. Easy. Okay, so I think it was easy to make. Okay, so Dad, you make lots of Cosmos and Martinis. How would you compare it to this? It's a little, little fussier, right? Because you got four ingredients in this one. Okay. Right? Typically, there's about like two, 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 three, and like a small two. swirly in there. Yeah, and a four of garnish or something like that. And I should say this is supposed to have some grapefruit bitters in it, um, which like swirled in the glass. You know, um, we didn't have that. We ran out. That that one is a, a more easy ingredient to get because we did already have it in our fridge. Oh, you know, we have bitters, but not grapefruit. Oh, never mind. Grapefruit bitters are hard to get. How did it fit into the Star Wars? Time? I think it's cool. Look at this. It's totally. Can you see it in the light? I think. Totally cool. Okay, but keep it. Keep in mind, there's not supposed to be any <laughs> any red in it. That was my twist. I know, but I love it. I love so the color. So imagine this like a little bit more blue. I I think. So I think it's very cool. I think I, it's a very cool drink. It makes me want to shoot first. And then edit it out later when it gets really sun DVD. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then overall tastiness. Would you order this in a regular bar? Would you ask me to make this for you on a regular weekend? Sure. Yes. Yes, I think so. All right. I like it. There you have it, guys. The Jedi Mind Trick. It's a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10. 
two blasters out of two blasters. I don't know which one to rate it, but it's good. Okay, so that's the end of this video. I'll be posting more. May the fourth be with you. Bye. Cheers. Cheers.